It's known as the Queen of the Susquehanna, and it's one of Central PA's most popular attractions. That's right. Joe Garrison is leading us through what you'll see and learn when you step on for today's Destination Pennsylvania. It's a boat from a bygone era, one you don't see every day unless you live near the Hiawatha Paddle Wheel Riverboat in Williamsport. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is Captain Mike. Welcome aboard the Hiawatha. From May to October, you can cruise up and down part of the west branch of the Susquehanna River. Originally, the boat was built by the community and the community backed it and fundraised for it. It's our 40th season. Passengers will hear a history lesson along the way of how the river and the lumber industry helped build early America. It's a good way to experience the valley, see the sites, learn about the history of the town, the industry, the role it played in our nation's history. Uh, it's really been a nice time. Sometimes you think about the history of the land too, what, what it was like back in the day for some of these people that were you know, living in these mountains. It's beautiful. The logging industry was a big employer back in the day. Pieces of that past can still be seen along the river. Back in the 1800s, the logging industry, Williamsport was the lumber capital of the world. And the river played a big part of that because it had the Susquehanna boom, which was a seven mile stretch of logs that they could contain and sort for the 15 sawmills that were here. And the pay was considered good as high as $2.50 a day. This region was also part of the Underground Railroad. Land traveled by freedom fighters is now dotted by river lots, providing harbor for boats, both fast and slow. The natural beauty is all around. Valerie Miller of Mountaintop rode the Hiawatha as a child. She hopes her children hold on to the same memories. It's awesome to have them experience the same experience I had because I remember what a good time it was and my brother and I have talked about it since our visit back in the late 90s. In August, teams from the Little League World Series will often take a trip on the Hiawatha between their games. Yeah, it was amazing to have the Little League teams here. We actually had them uh, about two years ago, right before the COVID year, where we were able to have the team from North Africa come, and they were just super nice team. Uh, they loved the boat. They loved seeing all of Susquehanna, just a great group of people. The crew puts a passenger to work, helping to secure the Hiawatha to the dock at Susquehanna State Park. Wow, can we get a round of applause? Thank you for riding the Hiawatha today. If you have questions, please feel free to ask a member of the crew. And I've always said I want to go on this river, and we just so happen to see this tour boat, and dream come true, one of my things off my bucket list. If you miss the early cruise, don't worry, your ship will come in. Just catch the next ride aboard the Hiawatha Paddle Wheel Riverboat in Williamsport. For Destination PA, I'm Joe Garrison.